as an ENFJ, what self-improvement should you do? I know you're passionate about people. You want to see them at their best. Uh, you want to make sure that others feel comfortable and loved and you're eager to be there for them, with them, when they need help. But you know what? Sometimes you can just get so caught up in your desire to help other people that you forget about taking care of yourself. So to take care of yourself better, you're going to need this tip coming up in this video, and that's why I'm here. Hey, I'm Matt Sherman, and welcome to Geek Psychology. If you want to use your personality type to leverage your strengths and improve your weaknesses, then you're in the right place. As an ENFJ, you have a lot of energy and enthusiasm, and that's great. It's what makes you so amazing at unifying other people and getting things done with other people, you know, getting them together and working on something that's meaningful. But it also means that sometimes you can be a bit too much for yourself and for others to handle. So here's the thing. When you take care of yourself, you're taking care of everyone else around you too. When you're at your best and you're feeling good about yourself, everyone benefits from your presence. Put on your oxygen mask first before helping others with theirs. You're no use to the world if you're dead. And actually, you become a burden to others when you finally exhaust yourself because you've pushed yourself for too long, too hard, or when you develop fibromyalgia as a coping mechanism. That's why I'm going to teach you about introverted intuition, a cognitive function that helps you see patterns and make predictions about the future. And cognitive functions are the eight different ways that we process information. They each have their own strengths and weaknesses, but together they make up your personality. Introverted intuition is the cognitive function, the part of yourself that helps you imagine what things could be. It's not a high paced injection of ideational energy. It's not like fast, rapid paced brainstorming. It's a kind of like having a crystal ball in your mind that allows you to see things from many different angles at once and then predict how they'll play out in the future. And when you use your introverted intuition in tandem with your extroverted feeling, one of the other strengths of your personality type, it gives you the power to be proactive on all those goals and, and not worry about, you know, making mistakes or pissing other people off. It's, it gives you like this clear vision for how to unify people, improve relationships, and to organize the world. And the best way for everyone to be happy is for all of them to have their needs met, right? Well, introverted intuition, this mystical advisor within you, is the part of your personality that can show you how to do just that. It'll tell you, stop putting out fires and start being intentional. Look at the long-term impact. Think about things from other perspectives. And in order to get yourself into a more resourceful and clear-minded state, here's what I want you to do. If you can do this now, then do it. If not, just listen and promise yourself that you'll do it at least in the morning or the, you know, the beginning of your day. So sit down, put your hands on your heart, close your eyes, and take deep breaths in through your nose for a count of seven, and out through your mouth for a count of 11. Okay, imagine breathing through your heart, breathing in through your heart, out through your heart. This will activate your parasympathetic nervous system and reduce stress and anxiety. Feel yourself relaxing as you exhale. And remember that it's okay to not be perfect all the time. Imagine something or someone that you love and expand it in your mental space. Make it a big, nice big picture in front of you or a video in your mental space. Now, when you know that you're relaxed, feeling good, and are more mindful, touch your pinky finger to your thumb, look at it, and say relax four times. Relax, 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 relax. You've just created a powerful anchor. An anchor is a trigger that you can use to bring yourself back into relaxation whenever you want. You can use this anchor whenever you're feeling stress or at any time you need a quick break from whatever's going on in your mind. When you're thinking about, you know, too many people and all this drama and stuff going on, just look at your finger, say relax, 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 relax. Okay? The more often you do it, both 
the the setting of the anchor and using it the easier it'll be for your brain to go into that relaxed state automatically when needed so next time someone tells you to slow down don't get defensive remember they're right are you struggling to find a balance between your strengths and weaknesses are you ready to get out of your own way and start living the life that you've always dreamed of well, go to schedule.geekpsychology.com and schedule a session to see if we're a good fit to work together. And if you're not ready for one-on-one -on -one support yet, then click on this video over here for more ENFJ insights and inspiration. See you there. Relax, 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 relax. It's good. You don't need to see me breathing a bunch. I need to just watch a video of a dude breathing. It's not very fun. But it's a great technique. I do it all the time. You should too.